guys, this is Max with Odd Jobs. I'm out here today in South Carolina and I'm making a very special video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be doing a review on our Bobcat T62. We've already done a review on our Bobcat T76 and we just thought that this would be information you guys would like to obtain. Follow me as I give you a walkthrough through this machine, show you its goods, its bads, and its averages. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video and share this with your friends. Okay, guys, first things first, I wanna talk about the price. The outright price for this machine, this one exactly here, spec how it is, was $74,000. But we decided to actually lease this machine. We're gonna return it in three years and swap it out for a new one. We figured this would be the best for our business instead of buying a bunch of machines and then having to buy a bunch of new machines five years later just make a, a slight payment on the machine for a couple years, have it covered under warranty, and then swap it out when we're ready to. Just in case you guys are wondering how much this machine costs, this one right here was $74,000. Can't even believe it. One of the first couple things I wanna talk about as well is the engine. This is a non-emissions diesel, so there's no DEF, there's no DPF, none of that stuff you gotta worry about. This is a 68 horsepower unit. So it does have plenty of power. Uh, it's actually quite quick uh, when you're not loaded up. And uh, the two speed really shows that with the amount of power that this machine makes. It also has a 28 and a half gallon fuel tank. So normally when you're running it at full throttle, it on our screen, it will show you your fuel consumption. And that's usually around three gallons an hour at full throttle. Uh, so this can run full 10 hour day, maybe even a 12 hour day. Uh, and you won't have to worry about fueling it up a bunch of times. I know there's a lot of machines out here that drink fuel, and this is not one of those machines. This thing's actually pretty efficient, and it's very quiet too, so it's not like a, it doesn't have that clackety traditional diesel sound. This one's actually quite quiet as well. thing I want to point out is this machine does have heating ventilation and cooling so it does have a air condenser that you need to blow out quite frequently as well as the air filter these things uh, come in contact with a lot of dust so you want to make sure that you're maintaining your machine in top tier shape because like I said in the very beginning these machines cost a lot of money and you don't want to ruin your investment by not taking care of it those are two things that I would really pay attention to while owning one of these machines is cleaning out your air filter and blowing this condenser out so that your air conditioning stays nice and cool because you didn't buy it for no reason. As you can see in the engine bay, you have your hydraulic oil filters, your fuel filters, and your case drain. This machine is very easily serviceable. I've also come in contact with a lot of different skid loaders that really don't make a lot of sense as far as servicing the piece of equipment, but this is all super user friendly, right in your face, um, very easy to work on. And if you guys are in a field where you maintain your equipment personally, I highly recommend this machine. It's extremely easy to work on. Everything's right there in your face. Can't miss it, can't mess it up. All right guys, so this machine also does have the standard track package, not like our T76 has the wide track package, but this still has a surprisingly low rate of ground pressure. So it only puts like 5.5 PSI of ground pressure on the ground. So it doesn't necessarily tear things up too much, but there is a couple things uh, that I am not a fan of as far as this track system. And that is if you look right here, guys, there's a plate right here to block things from getting into the cab. And there's a big one inch gap in between that plate and the cab. So every time this gets full of dirt, you're just cramming mud underneath the cab. And also right here, there's a big crack where the frame and the cab meet. And this is also another spot where a ton of dirt just flows right in there. You guys own one of these and it's abnormally sluggish. I would lift the cab up because there's at least, I'd be willing to bet, a yard of just packed in mud underneath your cab. It's not as bad on the T76, but this one's a little bit worse. And that's also something I want to talk about in this video. Another thing I want to talk about is this sticker right here. A lot of people see this sticker and they wonder, hey, what is ride control? 
Now this machine is nothing crazy fancy. It doesn't have a suspension on it. It's just a straight track machine, but I do want to explain to you what ride control is. And I think it's a pretty cool feature. So what it basically does is it turns this arm and whatever you're carrying into a big shock absorber. So if you guys have ever been running a machine, uh, moving material back and forth at a site, you know, it gets quite bumpy. It's really easy to tip forward and spill material or drop things off your pallet. And what the ride control does is it allows the arm to kind of float and not like the float function on the joystick. This will actually turn this into a big shock. So every time you hit a bump while you're carrying material or carrying a pallet, the arm, instead of jolting with the machine, will kind of gently float along. And I find that feature to be pretty cool. It's uh, extremely useful when you're doing large projects and you have to transport material uh, annoying distances. This machine is actually quite smooth itself, so I don't use it very much, but it's also a nice feature to have. Uh, one more thing that I enjoy about this machine, and that is the Bob Tack. Technically, the dealer calls it the Bob Tatch, but I think that sounds incredibly corny and I like Bob Tack better. So I'm gonna continue to pronounce it like that until the day that I die. Here with the Bob Tack, it's as simple as pushing a button inside the cab for you to swap your attachments. So you don't have to get out of the machine and hammer on these levers in order to get the attachment off. It's all hydraulically assisted. So while your buddy might be out in his Kubota uh, getting some work done, you know, having to get in and out of the cab to swap his uh, attachments. You can sit inside this machine and you don't have to get out of the machine. You don't have to strain your muscles. Uh, it's very straightforward. You just hold a button, the bob tack goes up, you take your attachment off, go up to your new attachment, hold the button bob tack down, and that will secure your attachment. All right guys, now I'm gonna walk you through the cab. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about this cab and there's not many things that I dislike about it. There's a lot of opportunity for you to charge things. So there's a USB port here covered by a twist cap. And then you also have a cigarette lighter port here for any custom things you might wanna plug in, whether that be maybe a power inverter or just a Bluetooth transmitter, whatever that may be. This machine also has a windshield wiper with wiper fluid. This button right here, so this is the auto leveling bucket. So if I were to turn this on and lift the arms up, it will automatically keep my load at the angle that it is now. So you don't have to worry about moving the stick in more than one direction besides backwards or forwards it'll handle the tilt for you this is the ride control but button that i was talking about earlier that sticker on the side of the machine this is what activates the ride control and then this is also your reversing fan so this will reverse the flow or basically the way the blades are spinning on the water pump fan and it will blow it in reverse. To be real with you guys, I don't think it's all that powerful, so it's not extremely effective, uh, but it is slightly effective, and you know, I'm cool with that. There's one cup holder. It will fit a Gatorade bottle or a big water bottle, uh, like a 32 ounce, so I like this a lot. It fits a lot of different cup sizes, can sizes, bottle sizes. Air conditioning port by your legs so you can adjust this to blow at your feet i'm a big fan of this because when you get in on a hot sweaty day you know cooling off your legs is also another very quick way to cool your entire body down there's also a gas pedal here for the guys who don't like to use the knob i am very coordinated with my feet so i enjoy having something to push with my feet because this is a joystick machine and not a hand and foot control machine also swappable between ISO and H pattern is ISO is pilot controls where this controls the bucket and this controls the tracks in the machine and then H pattern is 
This controls the right track back and forth. Same for the left. And then this will move the bucket up and down. And this will tilt the bucket or vice versa. I'm a big fan of the ISO. Um, if not, I would prefer to be a hand and foot machine. I'm not a big fan of the age pattern because it's just all confusing. This machine also has LED lights in the front and the rear. So this is for just your front lights. This is for your front and rear lights. And this is no lights at all. When you get in the machine, before you operate it, you have to unlock it. That's this green button here. So you push that and now you're ready to operate your loader. Up here we have a big fancy screen. So they do make smaller screens for this. I think it's a three inch screen and it has none of this. I think it only has these gauges right here. We have this same screen on our T76. I like it a lot. Here you can see this shows our fuel consumption. Right now we're burning 0.4 gallon per hour at idle with the air conditioning on. It shows your oil, temper, oil temperatures, coolant temperatures, air temperatures, battery voltages, this is a really cool screen to have. I like this a lot. It's also your traditional gauges. You can also connect your phone so you could make phone calls or play music. It also has a radio, AM, FM, aux. Here's your aux right here. You can play with the bass, the treble, which side of the machine you prefer the music to play on. And so here, you can adjust all of your intervals if you don't like what the factory gives you. Uh, so I changed our oil and filter element to 400 hours, uh, the fuel filters to 600 hours, and this will allow you to get a notification every time a service is due so you don't really I would still recommend you always check your fluids and check your filters uh, but if you're lazy and you don't care uh, this will also notify you when a service is due so you don't necessarily have to pay all that much attention to it it'll kind of let you know but uh, I always 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 recommend you maintain your machine so checking the oil, checking the air filter, checking your hydraulic oil level because like I said, these things cost a lot of money. You don't want to break them, especially on preventable maintenance. One feature that this machine has that I enjoy a lot is if you rent a lot of attachments or own a lot of attachments, uh, this machine will kind of teach you how to use them. So say I want to learn how to use the box blade with a laser. This will show me what each button does on the attachment and how to operate it. Or if you want a concrete mixer, you know, pretty simple, straightforward. Some of these do get quite confusing, so it's really nice to be able to look in your machine and see exactly how to use an attachment. Maybe you rented it and the rental place was super busy. Maybe you just bought a new attachment and the dealer kind of pushed you out, threw it on your truck and pushed you out the door. Um, so they never really walked you through how to use it. Now they don't necessarily have to. And if you're an introvert, that means that's less time you have to spend talking to humans and more time you can spend in your machine. This air conditioning, it gets very cold in here. Um, it will condensate on the windows on a hot day. It will get freezing ice cold in here. The windows on this machine are not tinted, so there's no barrier from rays coming into this cab, and heat will transfer through the glass, but with this air conditioning, uh, that is not a problem that I worry about. This is also, just so you guys know, not a part of the machine. I know it looks pretty janky. This is just a knee pad. Uh, my guys pull it out and lay it on the ground so they don't beat up their knees. And this is a nice place to store it. Um, here we have the air ride seat. So we have a gauge right here that shows you the ideal spot. And you lift this to pump it up. 
push it down to deflate it and this will allow your seat to move up and down so a lot of you who have ran machines in the past without an air ride seat uh, know that it's uh, not the most comfortable for your lower back getting smacked around like that but with this seat it's actually pretty manageable and I don't mind it at all you can also slide your armrest back and forth I've never had to but it's these levers here I don't know which way they go kind of foolish of me but oh well I don't need to move them so it doesn't matter there's also compartments over here as well as over here so you could store stuff they're not very practical because they're kind of a little hard to get to but uh, they are there just in case you need to use them I like to put water bottles right here my guys put their hats whatever we need to keep dry just in case you ever get stuck inside this machine this button here is going to release you um, I've had a hydrostatic pump go out while our guys were using the Harley rake and with this machine with the arms all the way down the door will open the door will close but if I raise this up a little bit say we're moving some material and something were to break now the door only opens halfway and if I pull it up anymore the door will not open so if you're ever in a situation where the machine will not stay running and you can't get the arms down and you're stuck in the machine this is what's going to release that hydraulic pressure drop the arms down and let you out of the machine so that's as far as the cab goes I think it's quite fancy I enjoy it a lot This machine also does have a heated seat, so in the winter time, I know a lot of people plow with skid steers, and this one will keep your butt nice and warm. Seat's a little dirty, but here is the full interior of the Bobcat T62. excavating somebody's backyard that is right on the water column like two foot under the layer of sod they got in their backyard so we're having to excavate a good four foot out get some bigger gravel in there for our pavers to have a solid base so that's what we'll be, we'll be spending most of our time doing that today and then hopefully we're going to get some uh, three to five inch stone in here and then some 57 then we'll get rolling Old T-62 is eating the day. Good God. Keep a yapa, trust nobody.
right guys so that concludes our t62 review again i think it's a great machine um it is a little bit expensive for its size i will be honest with you guys um you can get a bigger machine for around the same price but for what this is it's an absolutely great machine i enjoy using it a lot it's very capable for its size and it has a lot of power and a lot of creature comforts so i cannot recommend this machine enough i like it a lot i will continue to use it and i may even add another one to the fleet at some point but uh I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned because we are heading back to Michigan soon and we are going to get things rolling. We're super excited for the upcoming season and we can't wait to show you guys all the cool projects we have in store for you guys. So don't forget to like and leave a comment. Share this with your friends. We can't wait to see you next time. So thanks for supporting us. Follow us on Facebook at Odd Jobs LC, and don't forget to also follow us on Instagram at oddjobs.mi. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.